a solar charge, 36 volt, freaking golf cart. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, dirty old Belsif. We got the charge controller in today for the 36 volt golf cart for the solar panels on the roof. She's actually a pretty big one, eh? She's not a small little charge controller. And this thing's good for 36 volts. We're gonna get her wired up here and see how it works. Now, I already made some brackets down here. Remember that aluminum I got that I said I got too much? Well, turned out to be pretty good because it... This charge controller... Know what I'm saying? The charge controller fits right on here perfectly. You know, now I can have it off the ground and right there, out of the way. So it won't get wet and stuff like that. So she's gonna be perfect. Well, it might get wet down here a little bit, but we'll put some kind of steel on there or something just to keep the water from shooting in. Friggin' right you will. That'll be an easy fix, maybe. Better not shoot in there, frig. That's where we're gonna put it. Now, I don't have a fusible link right now, so we're gonna do this without a fusible link because you can't always have everything you need. And of course that wire is probably not gonna be long enough. Why would it? Frig, unbelievable. Not quite, this one is. So we're gonna have to put an extension on that piece, which really blows the old Dekarooski because now, I swear you had enough on that one. Goes to show you, you never guess. It never gets you anywhere. But we gotta figure out which one's positive or negative because I can't remember again. But before we figure out positive or negative, we gotta hook up the controller. The controller's always gotta be hooked up first. Remember, I got a ground and I got a positive over here. So the ground one we can hook up to the battery because it's ground and it doesn't matter if it touches anything. So let's get the ground on here, Captain. Which is the ground on the battery side of the 36 volt organisms. Oh, careful, if you're wondering. Maintenance mode, Captain. So I don't clock things over. So we'll get the ground on there, like so. Careful, like it's talking to me. So the ground can come this way, of course. Down around through here, probably through this little hole right here, like so. Decent. There we go. Perfect. So, we'll grab the controller, and we'll look for battery ground, which is right there. So we need it to be, frig, right about there somewhere. So we'll cut that and we'll splice it. There we go, perfect. So that can be out of here. We might need that, so don't go too far away. And we can get a screwdriver and put the ground on. Ground. So remember what I said, always unscrew it all the way down to the ground. What happened? Here we go, tighten that up. Okay, that one's done. Now we need positive from the battery. Actually, let's go positive from the battery. Yeah, let's do that first. It's really going on. Did you get that positive from the battery for sure? So slap the positive on, just like that. Maybe, of course it's too fucking not big enough. I don't think that did anything, but we'll try it. Oh my God, it might be enough. And let's just screw it on. Oh, let's fail, let's screw it on, Captain. There we go. Decent, unthread it. The wing nut on, and give her the beans. Ugh, there we go. So now, this will come along here like this and over to here like this and maybe I can get through here without touching metal, there you go. Like that and we'll kind of tie it up like that and Bob's your uncle like this and I'm going to say we'll leave that longer. And now we'll, uh, what in the flying f was that? Now we'll hook that up on oh, my charge controller. Why wouldn't I drop it, asshole? So now we want positive to this one. So like I said, screw all the way down. Now when I stick this in, it should show me voltage. Maybe. Not yet. Hmm. Interesting. Wait a minute. Always make sure you hook it up to the battery one first. Remember I told you that? I'm an idiot. What can I say? Battery bill. 36 volts at reading. Well, there you go. I read 36 volts. That's pretty freaking decent. I don't think we blew her up, Jim. I think it might be okay. So when you're doing this, make sure you read the diagram and make sure you put it in the right fucking hole. So it's showing 36 volts. Battery's loaded. 39.1 volts. Captain. Now for some reason it's showing that uh, the solar's sleeping. And I think that's probably because I haven't got the solar panels hooked up yet. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll just set that there for now. And now we'll figure out what, like I said, what one's negative and positive for the solar. So by doing that, we got to take both of these and give them the field test. Like I showed you the other day. Stick that one on there and we'll touch this one. This one's negative right here. This one's negative, Captain. Right? Now I don't know again. Talk myself right over. Thinking about you guys and not paying attention. Yep, that's right, okay. Positive, negative. So we'll start with a the negative. There we go. 
Now we're gonna need a piece of that black wire that I threw away because like I said, it's not long enough. Why would it be? There we go. So we'll twist tie this together to make everyone happy. And then we'll get out the solder and we'll solder that bitch. I guess that's it. I guess that's all it's getting. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. So now we'll take a piece of heat shrink and we'll uh, slide it all the way down and stick her over that joint. Because, you know, we want to make sure it's a nice little connection there. It's not messy and shit. There we go, look at that. Friggin' right we did. Okay, so that's good. We lengthened that, so now we gotta run these kind of up and in and around too. So let's take the next hole over, which is right there, and we'll slide it through. Decent. We'll get some zip ties, and we'll zip tie that right now. Ah, uh, terrible. Ah, uh, easy. I'm back. Did you miss me? Probably not. I wouldn't. So we'll slide this around this post. We'll slide this wire into there. And we'll give her the one, two. The one, two shot. One, two. Three. There we go. Need another one. Over here. There we go. So that's through there. We gotta bring the positive for the solar down through here. Do we have another hole? Yes, we do. Perfect. So we'll slide this through that other hole, which is the third one, right there. We'll bring it in and around, like so. Hook these up. Let's make these the exact same length. Right there. Beauty, negative, on the solar bill, not the battery. Tighten it up. There we go. Positive on the solar. There we go. So now, we've got to set this thing. I actually say it's charging. Come here. Batteries are asleep. Not too sure what it means when batteries are asleep here. Oh, it's dumping to a light bulb. So we got 31 Celsius, 39 volts. So that means it's charged. I'll have to get her outside and check her out. Oh, decent. Pretty cool little machine it is. Holy frick, it tells you everything. I don't know what I'm doing right now. 41 volts. How do you get out of this? Oh, what have I done? 43. No, 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 no. Oh, dick. SLD. 36 volts. Zero amps. Zero power. Mode 24. Mode 200. Auto. Okay, well, let's just mount her on and see what happens. I think we got her kind of somewhat not figured out. But hey, it is what it is, it is. So we'll put it down in here where I mounted it. And we'll put some screws in it to hold it there. I think it says battery sleepy because they're full. Because the thing's been on charge all night. I know the old golf cart ain't dead by all means. Look how solid that is. Holy crap, look at it. Now I can move that over to here too someday. In the winter time when I take all this apart to finish it. Because I never did finish this friggin' thing. Okay, so let's get this thing out into the sun without killing ourselves because there's no seat on it. 38 volts. Wow. Oh yeah, look at her power. He's already sinking power into her, look. So there you go. Batteries are happy as you can see. Well, there you go, Jim. We got ourselves a solar charge, 36 volt, freaking golf cart. What do you think of that? 90 watts, a 36 volt, pumping into the old golf cart. That's awesome. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you did. We got the golf cart now running solar. We'll have to see how it works. I'll let you know. But as you see right now, it's feeding 38.8 volts into her. And it's staying charged. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. See how much driving around I can do while it's charging. And we'll kind of go from there. So don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like this kind of stuff. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Because I like that kind of thing. Thanks for being here. I love you all. Until next time, you know what to do for now.